everybody, Gerilyn Rose here with a Christmas in July card for a card swap. I'm in in one of my card making groups using the new Tim Holtz Distress Shimmer Sprays. Try saying that 10 times quickly. Starting out, we're just ripping out a sheet of Canson XL watercolor. I just get it at Walmart. It's good for cards. I didn't know how much I was going to saturate this one. And I pulled out the Simon Says Stamp Winter Village die set. Hadn't used it yet, so I had to take it apart with my tool snips. You can see I'm arranging it here on some black cardstock that I'm going to run through the big shot. There she goes, obligatory die cutting machine shot. That was this Simon Says Stamp Stitch Slopes. I wanted to have like a snow slope down at the bottom. So I'm coating it with Versamark because I'm going to use several embossing powders over this, as you can see. I'm just kind of mixing them back and forth because I wanted it to kind of have that shimmer in some areas in the shadow and the others that you quite often see on snow slopes. So heating it from behind first because anything with a sparkle will just tend to fly all over the place if you start from the top. I'm using my rabbit tool to put down some talc so that the embossing powder doesn't stick all over the panel. And inking up my Simon Says stamp. This is the Christmas Blessings with some Versamark. So press really lightly on it on anything that's got a detailed sentiment so that you don't squish it down too much. I'm going to be using some detailed dull gold embossing powder for this. I didn't want it to be too bright because I thought the shimmers and all the other stuff that I had that's got sparkle would kind of overpower it. So I just wanted it to be there so that when you flip the card back and forth, you could see it in the background. And of course, in using the heat tool to melt that up. Now we're using the Simon Says Stamp. This was the Peace on Earth. It was one of the ones I think I got from the Huntington or Black Friday haul last year and I wanted to have an angel singing over top of the town. Because I used the Versafine Claire Black Ink, that stuff smears if you don't set it. I got out the Wow Clear Matte Embossing Powder and just coated that, heat set it. This is the Inka Dinka Doo Stamping Masking Paper because I'm going to restamp the image of the angel, fussy cut it out, and cover it because I want to do ink blending and then of course the shimmer sprays over it and because the angel is going to be a different color I needed to mask that off so here you can see I'm finishing out the fussy cutting and this is actually double speed I go really slow with this you want to cut just on the line or just inside of it because otherwise you'll get like a shadow around the outside of your mask and you can keep that and put it in with the folder with your stamp so you can reuse them again quite a few times setting it down over top of our angel. And once you get your mask aligned, you're gonna to wanna to press all the way down around the outside of that image to make certain that you've got good contact all the way around so that nothing can seep underneath it actually. And here I'm pulling out just three colors of Distress Oxide this time. I use shaded lilac milk, lavender, and speckled egg. I wanted a night sky, but not quite a night sky, just something a little bit different. Winter time has got such different colors from summer and blended them back and forth. If you go over top, it'll actually smooth out quite a bit. The oxides are really good for blending. And then you just wipe over top of your sentiments to clear off the stuff that's on the embossed ink. Here I'm putting some yellow cardstock behind the windows of our little village set. So it does look like the people in the village have got their lights on at nighttime. And finally, the new shimmer spritz sprays in the same tones, Uncharted Mariner, Peacock Feathers, and Wilted Violet using each of them in the same band approximately that they were on the panel. The purple and blue tones I used as a fine mist from a little bit higher up all the way across the panel. And I'm going to come in, I'm going to try adding some stars next with the fossilized amber one. That one I'm going to unscrew and tap on so that it has more of the speckles in the back. That's one I like doing with the mica sprays all the time too. Ooh, another obligatory moment. This one is the peel and reveal. Look at that, so nice. We have to color the angel now, so we've got some Distress Watercolor crayons out, and I'm using two pens. I'm using my water pen and just then uh, just a paintbrush. Stickles time. Come on, you know you still love them. These are the Crystal Diamond and Stardust. I put those on the angel's dress, the stars, and the snowbank, and added more rock candy glitter over top of it. Of course, now we're pulling out Lindy's Magic. 
I've got poutine gold that I'm mixing up on my glass mat so that I can paint over top of her bugle and give it a gold tone. The way the magical split out varies. Some are a straight shimmer of one color. Some split into a whole bunch of different colors and some of them are more of a flat tone. This gold is one of the ones that's just one color. This one is the hockey puck black and that one I use to actually cause like a silver sheen across her dress and to give it a little bit of shading. Because angels have got like different colored dresses but quite often I think that they're wearing silver up there and I used the Nouveau Strawberry Coolie Jewel Drops to color in the holly berries on her dress. The leaves on it, I did an ombre effect actually, so it changed color from gold up through the greens, the Christmas greens, because it's Christmas time and she's announcing things. This is the Swirling Snowflakes embossing folder, which I used to emboss the snowbank down at the bottom. Here I am distressing our background a little bit by flicking some water on it with that mask still back on in place. Taking a paper towel, bringing up the droplets now once the ink has had a little bit of a time to soak because this is why we have the Distress products. You can do that with water. Grabbing a piece of Nina Classic Crest Solar White 110 pound cardstock. That's my go-to one. I like it because it is so sturdy for your card bases. And I'm going to cut it down so that it's 7 inches by 10 inches so I can make a 5 by 7 card, which is typically not one I usually do. I'm usually doing the A2s all the time. And it still fit on my smaller scoring buddy so bonus on that one inside sentiment time pulling out my close to my heart inks because i've got the full set of the distress oxides i do not have all of their inks i've got how about 90 of the close to my heart ones though with their beautiful magnetic closure pulled out that christmas blessing sentiment again so that the fonts would match on the inside and the outside the smaller portion that i wanted for the bottom i masked off the top part with some masking tape which works pulled that off and i'm going to stamp that in the second colors now you know me i'm thinking this is looking a little plain so i pulled out the big star because it's christmas we have to have that big star shining overhead and then it looked a little lonely, so then I got out the little stars, and I'm stamping these all over. And I kind of must one up, and then I was like, oh, there's a neat effect if you, like, double stamp and triple stamp, it looks like they're shining. So here's my lovely guillotine trimmer. This one I love. And trimming that card panel down so that I can mask it off with another dull gold cardstock behind it. This part did not work. I slid the snowbank down a little bit and I drew a pencil line across the top so that it would be covered up thinking oh I'll be able to have that and see where I need to put the houses in the background but no it was so light that I couldn't really see it so I'm Mickey Vicky back and forth fiddling putting the houses in taking the snowbank off moving them into a spot, making certain that their stairs were showing, but that they weren't hovering above the snowbank, like magical floating houses, right? So I've got them set up at the top of the hill, setting them into place. And, whoa, the trees, the trees are next. That's right, because we have forest, right? So I'm setting them farther down. I'm going to do uh, some on the one side and some on the other, some set back, some set in the foreground. And that's all we're doing here back and forth. Oh, that's fitting the bottom panel on so that I can put the top trees on. You'll see I flip it forward here to make certain that my bottom edge is aligned pretty quick. Yep, there we are. All right, so now the top trees, bringing these more into the foreground so that it kind of carries that uh, village aspect all the way through that, you know, we're telling a story here. It's a Christmas card, but who says that we can't create things a little differently? There's the big mama foam tape. So this panel, it wasn't too warped actually from the water and the shimmer spritz. Put the Big Mama foam tape on the back. I like gluing it down too because I've had some, not the Big Mama, but other tapes, foam tapes, disconnect themselves over time. So I just kind of use it as a double bind system. I had already cut out the dull gold mat in the background and then took out the middle section with another with a rectangle die so that I can reuse that for another project. So I've got it set in place and with a little bit of glue on there, you've got wiggle room. One of my custom stamps, putting that on the back in the tones that we used on the card. And here's where I grabbed out my jelly roll pen and I'm highlighting the trees a little bit because I figured, well, the starlight and the angel are kind of shining down. Plus, of course, there's that big star on the inside. So the snow must be shimmering on the trees. 
made the ones in the foreground with a little bit more white and the ones that are receded in the back you'll see later that they don't quite have as much because they're farther away you shouldn't be able to see as much and getting out my nouveau shimmer pen colored up her wings because angel should have sparkly wings right embellishment time this was the champagne confetti from simon i love these discs i didn't like sequins because you always had to cover up that hole in the middle so i had also added in some foil up there and a couple of just little star embellishments too and the same on the inside i put a little bit of foil around the star just to highlight it off because i had to have shiny stuff on there anyway that is my card for the christmas in july swap i hope you're all having a great day get out be that change you want to see in the world and we'll see you all next time thanks so much bye bye <music>